Hi everyone, this is lecture series 18 under introduction to IoT dealing with service level agreement. Thanks for the support shown. Please do like, share, subscribe and comment. Come let's go into the video. Service level agreement in cloud computing. So in the previous videos we have seen why we have gone into a com cloud computing architecture. Because of high technological growth in the IoT architecture, we are supposed to move into cloud computing where we need different platforms to deal with different kinds of application. Not just a small memory is enough to completely develop an IoT architecture. Now, after seeing all the types, why we need cloud computing, all those, now we have ended up seeing why service level agreement is required in cloud computing. Generally, this cloud computing is, uh, uh, is the one which deals with the cloud server provider, service provider and end user or customer. That is, this end user and the cloud service, that uh, so-called so CSP, is the actor or the hero in the cloud computing deployment. So, we have to ensure that each and every end user or the customer who, who are requesting some resources from the cloud server provider, we must ensure that it is compl completely protected, secured and there is an agreement between the customer and the CSP. So, why we are going into cloud computing architecture? We have many architecture which help in better deployment of I, uh, IoT. But why cloud computing? So as we have already seen about the advantages of cloud computing, we end up saying that it is efficient service. That, that is the cloud computing provides efficient service in uh, providing the memory spaces or providing the pl different platform like IaaS, PaaS or software service provider. So if at each end, your cloud computing provides efficient service to the customer. And also it uh, proves that it is optimal in nature. So with this efficient service and optimal nature, it is generating some revenue so that it makes the user to pay some amount to use that cloud and you can store the data. So now we have decided cloud computing is the only architecture which we are going to take for IoT deployment, many application deployment. Then why this agreement is required? Yeah, so now I will give you an example. When you're going to purchase a new house, what you will be seeing about, you will see the area and you will be, uh, you will be asking the owner about the agreement wherein agreement deals with uh, data about the complete uh, area where you are pu uh, purchasing the house and which are the square feet available inside the house, right? So that is nothing but that agreement gives a clear idea to the customer and also to the owner. So here it is giving a clear understanding between the CSP and the customer. So before starting to communicate, there should be agreement that is provided wherein all the rules and regulation will be clear for both the ends. And now, okay, now we have said that service level agreement is important between end user and the cloud service provider. But what that service level agreement contains? It will contain the legal contract with the customers, legally provided information. It is not that their name or their address or uh, the thing they are going to search. The legal contract is nothing but maybe if I am going to stay in a house, rented house. So for one year, I am paying some advance amount, taking a legal agreement telling that from this date to the next year, this date, this house belongs to me as a rented house. After that, you have to keep renewing the legal agreement. Legally, it belongs to me. So even if there is some problem that occurring, you can show the agreement and get confirmed. So each and every customer who is approaching this service level uh, agreement should know about each and every conditions of services they are availing. Before getting a loan, you will know about the interest you have to pay. 
to which bank you have to get loan which will be the best choice so before availing something you have to know about the complete scenario of what is happening in the architecture so that is why we go for sla that is service level agreement okay now after that we are going to see about the importance of sla so now the importance of sla will be uh, depending upon the customer point of view and csp point of view now seeing customer point of view the customer will each of the customer who is approaching the csp they will have their own cla sla having some legal contract and it is not that it is the one customer who has to own it it can be in the name of any organization also if suppose we are starting a very small scale industry so in that name of the industry you can apply sla and get it legally so for example i am giving you telecommunication services so telecommunication services is it is an industry which is owning the sla service level agreement between the customer and the csp cloud service provider so this is the one who is sitting between who is providing the sla where this telecommunication service it does it just includes voice call messaging internet services storage services storage of database all those all those information will be completely provided in the sla and and will be given as a single contract so here you can see in telecommunication it is not that only one customer has to access voice call message it is not so it can be n number of customers who is using different services that is provided by your service provider so when when it is providing different services for each of the services it will be providing you a one sla so this is customer point of view csp point of view is why it is providing sla is if suppose from the service provider if they uh, if they uh, face any perf performance issues like a, a proper network will not be there or uh, there may be sudden uh, crack in the website so might be there will be different mistakes that is happening uh, from the end user that is your csp provider so at that time they they should mention in the sla that sometimes it, because of this maintenance work this will be the internet service will be uh, will not be available to a particular time so all those will be mentioned earlier in the sla because of if some inconvenience happens the customer has to accept that so you can give an example of it l it help desk so where it help desk where one service will be provided for this uh, different customer say in you are using one kind of wi-fi where different customers are using that wi-fi that router or that company's wi-fi so if that company is doing any maintenance work or any updation work completely they will uh, completely they will encrypt all the uh, network services so that also from the uh, service point of service provider point of view they will provide it in the agreement and there are some matrix that is followed for sla that is availability availability is nothing but we will be seeing before signing an agreement we will be seeing whether uh, uh, availability that is uh, the service is 24 hours how can we access it so that is known as availability response time is if suppose if you're contacting any help desk the response should be immediate the time they respond to your request that is response time portability is nothing but the flexibility that is wherever you sit the flexibility of transferring the data from the end user to the service provider must be flexible that is portability problem reporting is nothing but if suppose if you face any problem internet connection problem there is no prior message whom you have to contact or whom you have to uh, approach to get it cleared all those you all those comes under the mat matrix of sla next is penalty penalty is obviously provided if you if you own a legal uh, agreement uh, sla then you have to maintain that agreement if it is for one year it is for one year only if you don't renew it then obviously you will go for penalty it is just like a driving license which is owned for five six years after that you have to obviously renew it if don't you will be paying a penalty to the government that is what is happening here in the agreement hope you have understood the concept stay tuned for more information thank you